to demonstrate trigger point injections to the pelvic floor for the patient with chronic pelvic pain. For this procedure, we required sterile gloves, 80 cc of normal saline, 20 cc of 0.5% bupivacaine, 1 cc or 40 milligrams of solumedrol. Then 20 gauge long spinal needle, Iowa trumpet, 10 cc of controlled syringe. Prior to demonstrating injections on the model, I'm going to review quickly pelvic floor muscles. A red one, pubo vaginalis, then pubo rectalis, and then pubo coccygeus. Going more lateral, it's iliococcygeus, deeper, Ischiococcygeus, quite deep in the pelvis is piriformis, and then on lateral on the side is obturator internus. We will demonstrate shortly injections to all those muscles. Same muscles are demonstrated on the model. Pubo vaginalis, pubo rectalis, pubo coccygeus, Iliococcygeus, Ischiococcygeus, Obturator internus, Piriformis muscles should be here, as demonstrated on this side, Piriformis muscle. What you are seeing, it's a bird view of the pelvis, and we are going to inject muscles closest to the vaginal opening. I'm introducing my fingers through vagina. And first muscle is pubovaginalis. One to two cc of solution is injected into each muscle group. The next muscle, we are moving deeper in vagina. The next muscle is puborectalis. After we inject, the next muscle that goes deeper is pubococcygeus. The tip of the Iowa trumpet is gently pushed against vaginal mucosa. And then needle is advanced one to two centimeters into muscle. Going deeper in the pelvis, we inject into iliococcygeus, and then progressing deeper in the pelvis, we come to the ischiococcygeus. The piriformis muscle is quite deep in the pelvis and requires pushing and hyperextension of patient leg. The piriformis muscle is injected with solution. The next muscle that we will inject is obturator internus which is located on the pelvic side wall. The finger is placed under 45 degrees and upwards. Iowa trumpet is pushed against obturator internus, needle is injected, and obturator internus is injected with solution. Once we put solution on the patient's right side, the same procedure is repeated on contralateral side. At the end of procedure, I will suggest to put the 4x8 sponge and the gentle pressure in vagina to prevent formation of uh, hematoma.